Hi, welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason. Now at last, the RTX 4090 and two versions of the RTX 4080 have finally been announced by Nvidia. But does the performance and price justify you buying it? And of course, AMD muscled in on Nvidia's big day to tease out more on the upcoming Radeon RX 7000 series. So we'll cover everything that you need to know about the RTX 4000 series, our thoughts on performance and pricing, and whether or not you should be waiting for the RTX 4000 series to build your next PC. If you get value out of the video, please give it a like as it really helps out the channel and this guy loves it too. And of course, subscribe and click that bell icon that way you get notified when we release cool content. With that, Let's jump into it. Before that, this video is sponsored by VIP SCD Key. Say goodbye to crazy expensive Windows 10 licenses and that terrible activate Windows 10 watermark. Right now, use the links in the video description, head over to VIP SCD Key, and get a Windows 10 Home or Pro OEM license for a great price. Pick your product license, then use the PC Builder discount code PC25 for an additional 25% off. Go to the activation settings on your PC, put in the code, and boom, you have a fully licensed Windows 10 for a crazy low price, which can be upgraded for free to Windows 11. Use the links in the video description below. On September 20th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, NVIDIA founder and CEO Jensen Wong took the stage for their GeForce Beyond special broadcast at GTC to announce the high-end RTX 4000 series GPUs and new features. So let's start off with the RTX 4090, which is gonna launch with a $1,599 US MSRP on October 12th. The RTX 4090 will come with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. Nvidia claims the RTX 4090 performance will be up to two times faster in rasterization than the RTX 3090 Ti, and four times faster in ray traced games than the RTX 3090 Ti. Now remember, these are Nvidia's numbers and they should be taken with a heavy grain of salt until they're actually tested. And Nvidia did not show any individual games or give any individual FPS numbers. Now in terms of power usage, Nvidia did not specify, but the performance graph they offered, conveniently with no actual numbers on the x-axis, did show it using 450 watts of power. Now note there are rumors that the 450 watt versions will be the base model, and some or potentially all 4090s might come with an overclocked mode that might use up to 650 watts of power, but nothing confirmed on that front. Nvidia also announced two other RTX 4000 series GPUs, the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte for $899 and the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte for $1,199, both of which will launch at an unspecified date in November. Now both use GDDR6X memory and the performance that Nvidia claims for the RTX 4080 is up to two times faster than the RTX 3080 Ti in rasterization and up to four times faster in ray tracing games. Now Jensen also said that the RTX 4080 was up to three times the performance of the RTX 3080 Ti in Racer X. It's not clear why that specific game was used. Again, these are Nvidia's numbers and they should be taken with a huge grain of salt until tested. Nvidia also confirmed that it intends to keep selling the RTX 3000 series GPUs alongside the new RTX 4090 and RTX 4080, positioning the RTX 3080 as the next tier down from the RTX 4080. And Nvidia didn't announce any additional price cuts to the RTX 3000 series GPUs and continues to list the $329 MSRP for the RTX 3060, even though the cheapest US model continues to be at least $369. Now this seems like a clear admission that Nvidia still has a huge amount of RTX 3000 stock to sell through and also seems to heavily indicate that Nvidia intends to delay the introduction of mid-range GPUs like the RTX 4070 that might only match the previous generation in terms of performance. In contrast, when Nvidia introduced the RTX 3000 series, it did so announcing the RTX 3090, RTX 3080, and RTX 3070 together with actual availability within about a month of each other. Nvidia also announced the introduction of DLSS 3, which it says will boost game performance up to four times. Now Nvidia says this is achieved by going beyond simple pixel upscaling to being able to predict and render entirely new frames without involving the game or the CPU. Nvidia says DLSS 3 decreases the load in CPU bound scenarios and under those circumstances allows much higher FPS. To demonstrate this, Nvidia showed off gameplay footage from Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing on, and then turning on DLSS 3.0 showed up to four times the FPS. Nvidia also introduced a new feature for game monitors called RTX Remix. 
Now the way this works is that you start the game, you capture the gameplay into NVIDIA's Omniverse application suite. The user can then go and enhance the game asset files themselves and once done, use them to play the game with ray tracing enabled. NVIDIA showed off some sample gameplay capture from Elder Scrolls and then included the RTX enhanced version. And honestly, it was quite impressive, though it isn't clear how long something like this would take or the level of expertise that would be required to do it in the first place. Of course, AMD wasn't gonna let Nvidia have today all to itself. In a tweet, AMD announced it would be holding its Radeon RX 7000 announcement on November 3rd, or about three weeks after the RTX 4090 launches at retail. In 2020, it took about three weeks from AMD's Radeon RX 6000 series announcement until actual retail availability, but with the coming Black Friday and holiday sales period, it is possible the RX 7000 GPUs might be ready to go even sooner. Either way, this means that Nvidia will get the first crack at the market with the RTX 4090 before AMD even announces its new GPUs. Let's give first impressions. We just watched the announcement for the RTX 4090 and 4080. Uh, let's start off with the cards themselves. The 4090, I, I was actually very happy with the 4090. Yes, I know people will blush at $1,599, but listen, the 3090 was $1,499. Going up a hundred bucks, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem problem with that. There is inflation. Uh, materials costs have gone up. I thought on that card, I was actually very happy. It's, you know, when they say up to double the performance of the 3090, that means in the best case scenario, it's double. Now it does seem like there are going to be huge advances in ray tracing. And that's, if you're a ray tracing enthusiast, that might be very exciting for you. Uh, to me, ray tracing, even with the 30 series cards, except maybe like the 3090, 3090 Ti has been kind of a, I don't want to call it a joke, but it's been kind of a nothing burger in that you have to sacrifice a lot of frames in order to get it. And gamers are clearly making the decision that they would rather have the frames than the ray tracing. So four times more ray tracing performance sounds great. Sounds like they're continuing to iron that out and maybe ray tracing will finally be worth it. We'll have to see. Let's go to the big disappointment. That's the 4080, 12 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte. 16 gigabyte mega disappointment. Uh, 12 gigabyte is still disappointing. 899 is redonkulous price, 200 bucks more than the 30. 80, come on, give me a break. This is just nonsense. They're clearly structuring these prices so they can continue to sell the 3000 series at high prices. And if you were waiting for a 40, 70, yeah, tough luck. The other thing about the 4080 I will say is I don't understand $300 price difference between the 12 gigabyte and the 16 gigabyte. It better not just be four gigabytes of VRAM. That, that better not be the only difference. Future Jason here, just before the video went live, NVIDIA released some additional details on its website uh, regarding the 4080 12 gigabyte and 4080 16 gigabyte. There is a performance difference between the two. There are physical differences between the two. Apparently it accounts for the $300 difference. It's not just the VRAM. Let's jump into their overall pricing, they're trying to milk every last nickel out of you. They got obviously a very huge volume of RTX 3000 series cards to sell through. LOL that a 3060, by the way, costs $329. Right now, as I'm recording this, the cheapest one has been $369. So you haven't even hit MSRP on the 3060. Does that mean that they're gonna cut prices and they'll announce that in the coming days and they just didn't wanna do it today? That would be great. I wouldn't hold my breath. And we're coming into a market where miners are beginning, beginning, not this is not the huge part of the flood. This is the beginning of the flood into the market because remember those miners are probably crying in a corner right now. Their whole livelihood just evaporated overnight and they're sitting there reluctantly selling off the GPUs. They're not a company launching a product to market. They're reluctantly doing all this and they're only gonna do it because they're forced to do it in order to you know, get whatever value they can out of their rigs given that all the mining profits have gone away. So just give them a month or two, you know, those prices will come down. But overall the GPU market, very, very, it's gonna be very, very different. We don't have everybody looking to buy a PC like they were under lockdown in 2020. We don't have all the miners out there buying every last GPU under the sun for four or five times and we don't have a silicon shortage. Yes, these GPUs will sell at launch, but then they'll, they'll be back. They'll be back pretty quickly. And I think by December, maybe early January, you'll be able to buy whatever you want. So should you buy now or should you wait? I would wait on the mid-range and higher side. I would definitely wait. Wait at least for November 3rd, see what uh, AMD has to offer, see where their pricing is at. RDNA 3 is rumored to be able to beat the 
RTX 4000 series, let's let's see what happens. There's gonna be all kinds of early adopter issues with the 4090. There's always early adopter issues with things. So you might as well let somebody else work that out for a month or two and then they'll, they'll get it figured out. But if you're at the, at the budget end, you're, this is not worth waiting for. Go ahead and build whatever you were gonna build. Look for those used deals out there. Go ahead and do your thing. There's not gonna be a new 4060. There's not gonna be a new 7600 XT, it seems like anytime soon. Again, November 3rd, we'll find out more. Let me know down in the comments, what's your current GPU situation right now? Are you gonna be buying the 4090 or 4080 when they launch? Are you gonna be waiting for AMD? Are you gonna be waiting maybe until Black Friday? Uh, tell me down in the comments where your situation's at. And remember, if you got value out of the video, give it a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel. And of course, subscribe and click that bell icon, that way you get notified when we release cool content. If you were looking for our coverage of Ryzen 7000, check out this video right here. We go through Ryzen 7000, uh, launch window, and everything that you can expect. And we'll catch you on the next one.